to screens. Briscoe trailing him. Tony Parker down in the post. Takes it to Thomas Welsh, who slams it home. Here. Alford with a three. Got it! 9-2 UCLA. He's not been put in a position to foul is because Kentucky's not been as aggressive as normal. Alford with a quick release, knocks down the three. There's a screen for the screener. Inside, Bolden lays it in, and a foul. So action. And all of a sudden, Bolden just got on the inside of Derek Willis and was able to essentially post him up. And, and, and Tony Parker, one of the UCLA players, even Steve Alford, off his back. Wow. He threw it right off the back of Tyler Eulis. And a really alert play by Isaac Hamilton to throw it right off his back. And not play for UCLA, only practiced after January. So he's still shaking some of the rust off. And he just shook some more off right there. Now, Kentucky extraordinarily young up front. Well, Silver LaBissier. Magnificent job on the defensive end as well. Hamilton, no. The save, and Alford tips it in to Welsh. Alford off balance, but he's got a lot of different shots in his bag, and he knocks that one down to make it 12. A well, roll, especially tonight, with some of the other issues the Wildcats are facing. to be king. <laughs> that was phenomenal. It also fouled Alex Poitras out of the game. Did it go in? It went in. <laughs> it went in, right. <laughs> Look at him. A bit of a delayed reaction from Prince Ali. A, I'm not hurt, and B, I just dunked it over a 6'9 guy. Using the clock a little bit. How good of a game is Holiday? Look, look at that. What a move by Bryce Alford. For the first time in 12 years, UCLA has knocked off a number one team.